Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the Maclaurin series for the function e to the x times the cosine of x. We'll actually find the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. So we'll start by first writing down uh, the Maclaurin series for e to the x. So we're going to replace e with its Maclaurin series. So the Maclaurin series for e to the x is 1 plus x plus, and then it's x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial, and then plus dot dot dot, right? It's an infinite sum, so the dots are important, times the Maclaurin series for cosine. So cosine is an even function, so it only has even powers of x in its Maclaurin series. The first even power of x is x to the 0, which is 1, and then it alternates, so it's minus, and the next even number is 2, so x squared over 2 factorial, and the next one is 4, so plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial, and then minus x to the 6 over 6 factorial, and then plus dot, dot, dot. All right, so now we just have to very, very, very carefully figure out the first four non-zero terms. So how this works is as follows. When you are multiplying this out, you have to pick one term and only one term from each parentheses. For example, let's start by looking for all of the constant terms. So let's see. So we can pick the one over here on the left. So we pick that one. So the only one we can pick here on the right to give us a constant term is the 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. And that's it. There's no other way to get a constant term from multiplying this out. So now we go to the x terms. So x terms. Okay, so how do we get an x term? So can we use the 1 to get an x term? Well, there's no x terms on the right, so that won't work. So can we use the x? Let's see, x times 1. Yep, x times 1 is x. So that's an x term. So now we go to the next one, x squared over 2 factorial. Nope, we can't use that one to get an x term, so we're done with the x terms. So now we go to the x squared terms. You just go down the line very, very carefully. It's going to get harder now. x squared terms. All right, can we use the 1 to get an x squared term? Um, yes, yes we can. We can multiply it by negative x squared over 2 factorial. That gives us an x squared term. So we're done with the 1. So now we go to the x. Can we use the x? No, no, we can't. Can we use this one? Ah, yes, yes, we can. We can use this one and the 1. That will give us plus x squared over 2 factorial. Oh, no, look, they cancel. So we get 0. What a waste of time, right? We need the first four non-zero terms. So that ends up being not helpful. And can we use the x cubed? No, we cannot. So we're done with x squared. Now we go to x cubed terms. So a very, very organized way of doing it. So can we use the 1 to get an x cubed term? Nope, doesn't work. Can we use the x? Let me switch colors here. Can we use the x? Yes, we can use the x and the x squared over 2 factorial. Multiplying those will give us minus x cubed over 2 factorial. Okay, can we use the x squared? Um, no, what that doesn't work. Can we use the x cubed? Yes, we can use the x cubed and the 1 over here on the right. That will give us plus x cubed over 3 factorial. I'm going to go ahead and add these up. So what you can do to add these is you can pull out the x cubed and then you write this as negative 1 over 2, right? 2 factorial is 2, plus 1 over 6. 3 factorial is 6. Then what you can do is you can multiply this by 3 over 3. So this is x cubed, parentheses, negative 3 over 6, plus 1 over 6. That's equal to x cubed times negative 2 over 6, which is the same thing as negative 1 over 3. So this is negative 1 third x cubed. So that's our x cubed term. I'm going to put that in a box because that, my friends, is an accomplishment. So we've got the first 
one, the second one, the third one. We need one more. Let's look at the x to the fourth terms, right? One first four non-zero terms. So x to the fourth terms. All right, let me just switch colors here. Let's see what's a good color. How about purple? All right, can we use the one? Yes, yes, we can. We can use the one and the x to the fourth over four factorial. It gives us x to the four over four factorial. All right, can we use the x? Nope. Can we use the x squared? Yes, yes, we can. We can do the x squared times the x squared. That's going to give us minus x to the four over two factorial, two factorial. All right, can we use the x cubed? Uh, nope. Can we use the x to the fourth? Yes, we can. We can multiply that by one. Oh, this is interesting. So this is plus x to the four over four factorial. Wow, so let's work this out. We can pull out an x to the fourth. So we have one over four factorial is 24 minus one over four, right? Two factorial is two, two times two is four, plus and then one over 24. So we want uh, a denominator of 24. So I think we can multiply this by six over six. And that's gonna give us, I'll come up here now. This is gonna be x to the fourth, one over 24 minus six over 24 plus one over 24. This is x to the fourth. Um, it's going to be 2 minus 6, so it's going to be negative 4 over 24. That's going to be negative 1 sixth x to the 4. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Really, really hard stuff. So, so the answer, what's the answer? The answer, I'll write it up here in red, it's 1 plus x. Right? So we have the 1, we have the x, we have this one here minus one third x cubed, and then we have minus one sixth x to the four. And that is the final answer. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.